country we're seeing major tourist hotspots actually looking like them for the first time in more than a year. It's the first holiday weekend since most of the country's biggest cities rolled back COVID safety restrictions and more than 700,000 people in Wisconsin are taking full advantage. But as Christina Laurie shows us, all that travel is coming at a price. It's the start of the summer travel season and across the board prices are up. But with the help of the internet and a little luck, you can save a lot of money on your next vacation. It's that time of year when the water park capital of the world reopens. There definitely is a lot of pent up demand. And I-3990 gets a whole lot busier. So we called up our go-to travel guy, Nick J from AAA. We have a, a pandemic puppy that we uh, adopted a few months ago and uh, not quite ready to, to make any big road trips with her just yet. Although Nick's family isn't traveling, more than 700,000 Wisconsinites are. 90% are driving and paying the highest gas prices in seven years. The statewide average is 286 a gallon. One dollar more than last year, but only five cents higher than 2019. A lot of reason for optimism for those in the, the travel industry. Nick says 50% of families are planning a vacation this summer and cautions planes, hotel rooms and restaurant reservations are filling up fast. If this is the first time that you've traveled since the, the pandemic started, there's certainly going to be a lot of things that are different. He recommends you plan ahead using online resources like AAA's interactive map to learn about the latest restrictions where you're headed, as well as Wisconsin 511's app for traffic updates and websites like Priceline or Hotels Tonight to find discounted rates. To make things a little bit easier, I put links to all of the websites we talked about up on ours, channel3000.com. In Madison, Christina Laurie, News 3 Now. You can also use AAA's online gas price calculator, which can help determine how much a road trip will cost and figure out whether driving or flying is the most cost-effective option. 